everyone, it is Lisa from Grateful Me. Welcome to my channel today. It's a beautiful Monday, and guess what? Last night we got tons of snow, so it's a beautiful white winter Monday where I live. Today we will be stuffing our mini savings challenges, and let's go ahead and count the money that we have for this um, for this binder and for all these challenges. There's 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I hope you all had a great weekend. We celebrated my daughter-in-law's birthday yesterday, and my whole family came over and we had so much fun. I love it when we get together. All right, let's begin. First of all, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you um, will enjoy your time here and that you will decide to like and subscribe and be part of my little YouTube, YouTube money budgeting journey. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I appreciate you and how much you mean to me our, and how grateful I am for you. Let's start with our flower savings challenge today and this flower savings challenge it is, each flower is worth $5, and today we're going to add $5. So I'm gonna put a 10 in here and take a five out. And we, in this challenge, we have 10, 15, 20, $25. And I just need to go ahead and color in one of these flowers. Oh, that little pencil's broken. Let's do this one right here. So what is everyone's plans for this week? My mom just had gallbladder surgery, so I'm gonna go down and help her out today. And it is also mine and my husband's 31st anniversary. 31 years we've been together. And man, what a journey it's been. 31 years, five children later, seven grandkids, well, six grandkids and one to be here. So seven grandkids later, um, three different homes, different states that we've lived in. We have, you name it, we have done it and we have experienced it. And I just love my husband to death. And I'm so grateful that we're together and that we made it through our ups and downs. All right. Here is our new spring savings challenge that we need to start. This challenge is, I think, adorable. And it is a challenge that I'm going to be doing through March, April, and May. What I consider kind of the spring months. When this challenge is complete, at the end, I will have saved $180. So that's going to be kind of fun. This challenge, each spot is either worth $10 or $5. And today we're going to add $10. Next is my Fun in the Sun Savings Challenge. This savings challenge, each of my sons are worth $10. And I'm going to go ahead and color in. I really don't have an orange color pencil out, but we'll just color it this color. So this challenge, I'm going to um, use this money for my vacation because I feel like it's time to go on one. And our family actually has one planned to Hawaii. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to add $10 and we should have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. There's 10, 15, 20, whew, they're sticking together, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 dollars. Not that bad considering at the end, like I said, there'll be 240 dollars in this envelope. All right, moving right along. Here's our little cute cat challenge. This little kitty is adorable. And on this printable, there's actually two other challenges that come with it. And they're different cats. And they're just, I don't know, there's just something about them that are so cute. Today we're gonna add $5 to this challenge. 
All of these challenges that I have in my mini binder are ones that fit any budget, anybody can do. Um, they're very simple, they're very easy to um, complete, and it doesn't matter how long it, it takes you to do a challenge, as long as you're adding to it on a regular basis and doing your best, before you know it, you will have completed the allotted amount on each of the challenges. Now this amount is $75. Let's count this one. 20, 30, 35, 40. So we have $40 in here so far. All right, moving right along. Okay, our Honey Bee Challenge. Our Honey Bee Challenge is going to get $5 today as well. And last night I wrote down what all, I was going to use all of these challenges for. And they each are going to go towards a certain sinking fund in my sinking fund binders. So when it's completed, I take the money that I've earned and then I go and I divide it into my binders and put them in my sinking funds and so it helps my long-term um, goals be met, it helps my short-term goals be met, and it helps me purchase some of the things that I want and that I desire. So that's how I use savings challenges to benefit my life. So in this challenge we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 30 dollars. All these uh, mini challenges are fairly new. I've only been doing them for a couple weeks now. And like I said, it really adds up when you add, you know, a little bit here and there. Okay, our, oh no, we have, sorry, I was gonna say this is our last challenge today, but it's not, hang on. Here's our little well challenge. Our well challenge, when it's completed, let's add the five dollars, um, will be a total of ninety dollars. All right, I'll fill this in. Some of these challenges I'm going to use to pay off some debt. Um, my husband and I were completely debt free until a couple months ago when we have medical expenses for our kids that we have to. Um, put on a credit card. Now these ex we had saved, let's see, we had saved $5,000 for medical and we extended that amount with some of our kids. Um, we have three type 1 diabetics and so we have about $1,400 in one bill and $250 in another that I need to pay off. And we have been debt free for a long time, well consumer debt free. And so I'm going to be using some of these to pay off some of that debt. All right, let's count the money in our Well Savings Challenge. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 40. 40 dollars. So we're about halfway on this challenge. And so that is really good. All right, we have two more challenges to stuff. Here is my bloom savings challenge with all these pretty flowers. And we will, I will be adding $5 to this challenge as well. So let's see, we should have 5, 10, 15, 20 in here. Let's give it a count. 5, 10, 15, and 20, $20. That is our total. And then last but not least today, we are going to start my new Mandala Color by Number Challenge. So I have this on my Etsy shop, but I have it in the large size to go in an eight and a half by 11 binder. And I'm going to go ahead and make this available to um, people on my shop, but I'm going to add two more designs to this. 
and so you'll get a total of three designs. So this is something that you can look forward to in the future, um, probably in a few days. I have a few more items my daughter-in-law has created that I need to add to the shop. So I'll let you know when that comes up if you're interested in it. And I think it will be super fun. I love to do color by number. And when this is completed, it will be $128. All right, well, that is the end of my mini savings challenges. I'm gonna show you in the back here. These are the ones for future, for in the future. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini savings challenge uh, video. And just, I want you to remember, little by little, as you do you for your own personal budget, your money will add up and you will accomplish wonderful and great things. I hope you all have a fabulous day and that you find many things in life to be grateful for. Until next time, bye.